What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. So I'm going to focus in on the uh, Detroit Red Wings and the issue of Pavel Datsuk's salary cap hit for next season. Obviously, Datsuk, for all intents and purposes, the Red Wings are banking on him returning to Russia next year, meaning they will need to carry his uh, you know, $7.5 million cap hit, unless they don't. Um, could they trade that salary cap? With the first round, the the contract, how about that? So with the draft pick, you know, to a team that, you know, is looking to get to the cap floor, i.e. Arizona or, uh, who was the other one, uh, Carolina. You know, those two uh, descendants of former WHA teams, I might add. Um, you know, be, they, they'd have to definitely give up a draft pick. And the way, you know, I'd say, wow, why are you doing that? They want to be active in free agency. Plain and simple. Obviously, their number one target would be that guy that wears number 91 for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Steven Stamkos. But, you know, even if they can't get Stamkos, there are other needs in the organization they're going to have to address, principally on defense. Um, you know, I think they'll be active with, uh, you know, Keith Yandel, Alex Goligoski. Uh, there's like three or four other guys. I think. I don't think Brian Campbell, I, I could be wrong, but I think uh, Yandel, Kologoski, and then free, and, uh, tr in terms of the trade market, Tyson Barry, um, you know, Jacob Truba, Michigan native, no big deal. Um, so there, there's definitely options there on defense for the, the wings, uh, and uh, I think they would definitely be willing to give up you know, even their, their first round pick, you know, 50, was it 16th overall. So, you know, if that, there's no guarantees, but if eating the number one pick, allows them to have some flexibility to move some pieces around the board and revamp their team right here and right now. And that's something I think the Wings should consider. And, uh, you know, if I'm a team like Carolina or, you know, Arizona, if I can get another first or second round pick, have to eat dead money for a year, not pay anything. I mean, does it hamper their flexibility? Yeah, but it's not like they're, uh, it's like Arizona or Carolina spends the cap either. So, you know, I think, again, this could be, this could potentially be a win-win situation. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it all shakes up. Definitely one of the more underrated storylines, you know, going into uh, the draft weekend, which I know is two weeks out, but something to uh, think about. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the final and beyond. Later, guys.